in my opinion, the best way to get a girl to start talking to you or to open up to you is to ask questions. And the questions that you want to ask are how questions. I think these are the best ones to ask because they're better than um, why questions. Why questions tend to be a little too open-ended and people usually get a little frozen <laughs> when you, you bring those up. Um, and then the what and the who questions, these types of questions tend to be a little too short. So they tend to give people give one word answers for them um, and the conversation is over really quick. Because I don't know if you've been in conversations where it's just like every time you ask them a question, they're just like, yes, no, that's cool. Or it was all right. And, you know, these types of questions where you're asking the, the, the who's and the what's and uh, those types of things, it, it basically allows the person to just kind of blow the conversation off. And sure, conversations definitely are, are fluid. They, they vary a lot. Um, you're definitely going to need to use all of these questions at some point. But I think the how questions are definitely something you shouldn't lose. And you definitely shouldn't forget to use them um, when you're talking to somebody. So... For sure, we've talked about the most important parts of a conversation, which is listening um, and the most important, you know, how to respond to that in part two. So we basically covered, you know, how to listen, how to respond and make, make a person feel important uh, when they've told you something, which are two very important things. But how do you get them to open up in the first place? And the way you get them to open up in the first place, in my opinion, is to ask these questions, these how questions. Um, and the way you do it is... Like, let's, I'll give you an example. So let's say I walk up to a girl and I start, we start talking and I say, hey, where are you from? And she says, oh, I'm from Texas. And I say, oh, cool. Uh, what, did you, what were you doing in Texas? And she goes, oh, I was in school. And I go, well, what was your major when you were in school? And she goes, oh, my major was psychology. And then I say, well, how did you get into psychology? This is the question um, that I think is really going to open up the avenues for a story. Now, she might be a little... Um, she might be a little, uh, a little bit reluctant uh, to open up completely to me, but the beauty of a how question is that it really kind of eliminates um, the need for getting into your deep down into your emotions, um, and it eliminates the need for, um, you know, opening up to someone in that in that context. Where I think it's a little bit tough to expect somebody to do that when you first meet them. Uh, but the how question is basically like a step by step process. Like, how did you come? How did you get into that? So she could say, well, you know, I've you know, I've always had a really crazy family. Um, my family has a lot of different characters, and I was always curious to know how they came to be the way they were. Um, so now that I know that information, dude, that opens up a whole swath of stories that I can ask her about. I could ask her about, well, how did your family come together? Um, you know, who is <laughs> who is your favorite uh, person in the family? Now, when I ask who is your favorite person in the family, that's going to give a quick one-word answer. But then after that, um, I could say, like, how is he so crazy or something like that. Now, the how is he so crazy or how is he like this, um, that invites a story. And there's another story that she could tell me. And pretty soon I have all this information about her She's and we're connecting a lot better because I ask these how questions as opposed to um, these other short one word quick response type, uh, type questions that a lot of people fall victim to when they first meet somebody. So obviously I think a lot of people are thinking when they when they watch this is that oh well this just sounds like a pretty normal conversation and a lot of people think that you have to do something crazy you have to do something really over the top and amazing when you're in conversation with the girl to get her to sleep with you you really don't sometimes all you have to do is talk about the most normal basic things listen to her make her feel important uh, get her to open up and then respond with something in turn that's really passionate which is what i'm going to get into the next video um, and that's totally enough. Even just listening to them, I would think, would be the best thing. But in order to listen to someone, you have to get them to open up a little bit. And I think the best way to do that is the how questions. In the next video, like I said, I'm going to talk about how to respond. Um, not how to respond, but how to basically talk yourself, tell your stories, um, how to do that. And if you guys have any questions about this video, leave it in the comment section below. If there's any way that I can improve this channel, let me know that too. And I'll talk to you guys later. Good luck out there. Thank you.